Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of my game diary. This week I've been playing Elix. Elix? I saw the sequel is just out and I thought I'm sure I've got the original sitting unplayed in my Steam library and right enough I did. So this is me giving it a play, seeing if it tempts me to buy in the new one. And when we're done here, hopefully you'll have an idea if you fancy it too. Straight away I'm getting Skyrim vibes from the look of the first bunch of characters I come into contact with. They've got Skyrim looking armour, Skyrim looking weapons and a Skyrim sounding names like Ragnar and Anguim. They are the Berserkers, a faction of militant tree huggers who forsworn technology in favour of swords, axes, bows and magic. As I play a bit more, the post-apocalyptic environment starts giving me the Fallout vibes too. Derelict buildings, ruined highways jammed with broken vehicles on a last chance power drive. One of the other factions, the Outlaws, use repurposed firearms and boost their combat effectiveness by shooting themselves up with chems. So some of the aspects of the environment and characters are similar to Skyrim and Fallout. You know what's not similar? Everything else. If you think you're in for a smooth ride levelling up, gaining new skills, exploring the world, killing easy enemies, you got another thing coming, Pilgrim. The early part of this game is brutal, and if, like me, you thought you were in for your usual first few hours of open-world RPG experience, you're going to come close to quitting more than once. Most RPGs will break you in slowly, early quests against enemies you can beat, an environment to explore populated with critters appropriate to your low level, new weapons and equipment you can use right away, and gaining tangible improvement when you level up. Elix, Elix gives you none of these things. After reaching the first town and talking to all the important NPCs, you fill your log up with what you think are low level quests, except they aren't. They will pit you up against enemies you simply cannot kill, who will kill you in one or two hits. The environment you travel through to get to these quests will have monsters that do the same. You won't be able to use any of the equipment you find, and you won't be able to afford to buy or meet the stat requirements for any of the new skills available from leveling up. The game shows you all this stuff and then says, nope, you can't have any of it. Yet. Yeah. Most of the early quests are talk to X, collect Y type deals that don't actually require any combat. Even though there might be enemies nearby, you can sneak or simply run around grabbing the items you require. There's no need to stop and fight any of the monsters you find out in the world either. Just run. The amount of XP and loot you gain from a kill is so tiny, the risk reward just doesn't incentivize combat. You can gain several levels from the early quest without any fighting, and once you recruit your first companion, a bit more combat becomes viable, but there will still be some quests you get at this stage of the game you won't be able to do until much later. So the first 8 hours of my game were just talking, running and dying over and over. They put a lot of work into the lore and narratives, there's plenty of dialogue to listen to, but it's not the most fun I've ever had with the beginning of a game. Eventually you start accumulating enough money and stat points to be able to learn new skills. Realising that the stat points you increase every level don't do anything themselves to make you more powerful, but are actually the way you unlock the skills you wish to develop, is like another penny dropping in working out how this game is designed to be played. In fact the whole experience of playing Elix, Elix, so far has been like a series of pennies dropping, realisations that my initial methods and assumptions were wrong. It took a while to get there, and now I see what the designers were going for. However, there is a but, in fact there's a few buts. It's got to be said that there are things that make this game a bit of a chore to play that have nothing to do with you not realising you're playing it wrong. These can be summed up in three words, slow, clumsy and awkward. Most aspects of the game, from the pacing to the animations, from the UI to the combat can be described as one, two or all three of these. Nothing about the game feels smooth. There's a lack of polish that, for all their faults, isn't missing from Skyrim or Fallout. I think I was just getting to the point where I was into the rest of the game enough to live with these quirks but it could be a deal breaker for many of you if you can get past the first eight hours and overlook the clunkiness elix elix has a fair bit to offer but those are two pretty high barriers and i question the wisdom of putting obstacles like that in front of a new player if you decide to go into it after watching this video at least you'll be going in with the right mindset or you've decided not to go into it at all to the question of whether this tempts me to buy the sequel i'm interested but cautious i'm definitely not not going to blind by it i want to see some well done breakdowns on what's changed what stayed the same how the game plays before i part with any cash so that's been my experience of elix elix have you played it are you playing the sequel let me know in the comments like and subscribe for more and i'll see you next time